It's not an airport that most people are familiar with, but Matiga International refuses to be counted out. As a Libyan citizen, I'm looking forward to have my country just like paradise. But the, the fact, it's no, not, not so easy. I mean, I mean, it takes time to have it, but, but I'm satisfied, actually, because if you compare it now, when 10 years ago, now it's much better, or not less than 10, I mean, eight or five or six years, now it's much better. In recent history, Matiga was only used for military planes, but became the Libyan capital's main commercial airport when Tripoli International was damaged during the war in 2014. Since then, it's undergone a major makeover, and that's meant new businesses like Libyan Wings. Libyan Wings credits Libyans' appetite for travel as one of the key reasons behind its profits. And officials hope that they can keep on improving the experience for both Libyans and international travelers, though that's certainly not a process that will happen overnight. It was a challenge to operate under difficult circumstances after the 2014 war. We actually started in 2015 with 175 flights a year. And in 2022, we reached 4,005 flights annually. Now, those 4,000 flights service three other countries, Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Tunisia. And the company is setting its sights on the rest of the world. We face many difficulties, but those in charge of civil aviation are making great efforts that gives us and Libyan companies an opportunity to open new destinations. We always play to be better and maybe one day we can compete with Turkish Airlines. Officials admit that maintaining security remains a challenge to the airport and in Libya at large, where militias and political divisions often spark outbreaks of violence. But with no resolution on the horizon, they say they've no choice but to forge ahead. Priyanka Navani, TRT World, Tripoli.